it's Bruce Chan 3 and we're back with some more Pokemon TCG. Today, we are busting into this Iono Premium Tournament Collection, uh, or the Milk Box Carton, is what people call it. Um, this recently just came out. Um, Iona is very, very popular amongst fans all over the world as a trainer and as just a character, and this was going to probably sell out very quickly. I'm going to try to not destroy the box, which I may have still done anyways, but we'll see. Okay, cool. So, open it up like this with the slap. Uh, usually, with these milk crates, I just completely destroy them. But, we'll put this here. I just saw a coin, but it just slipped down. Alright. Alright. Okay, so it's similar setup. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Okay, let's... There's the box from close. There's the contents on the sides. Nice art. All right, so good and bad thing. The Iono card is not in the deck box. It is just kind of in the sleeve, which unfortunately kind of makes it difficult in the fact that it uh, could get dinged up really good in that box. But um, fortunately for me, if I was going to get this created, it is heavy left over right in my opinion. Opinion. So I wouldn't get a 10 anyways, but I'll probably leave that sealed for the time being. There are other Iono cards behind it. It's like the base Iono, but it's holofoil, and there is a star stamp on there. Uh, the other contents of this particular milk crate is this uh, Iono sleeves with the uh, time stamp. It's just kind of, uh, I think she loves the social media and that type of stuff, so that's kind of her thing. Um, we got our dice, which are oddly enough made in the U.S. this time instead of uh, Asia, and we have our coin, very sparkly uh, Iono coin. Um, the oh, who's the other one? There was uh, all the ones I've purchased is the oh, Mercy the the boss's order cipher. I don't think that's his name. Uh, and then the Kiara, Kira. Uh, milk cartons, uh, the Kiara, or who, whomever her name is, I'm sorry, sorry, is very similar to that pattern, same pink color and the um, glittery nature. We got our counters right here for poison and burn, and then we have our packs, which are right here. Uh, they all feel like the very uh, cheaper wrapping, but we have the yeah, Iona deck box. You got a nice, cute little picture on the inside. Uh, we got white also interior on the other side, so right there. This is for maybe extra card to sideboard or something of that uh, effect. Got a nice little picture on the side. Got a more uh, expanded version of the packs, or the, the deck sleeves. Has the time frame and the recording like uh, on uh, social media and such. But this deck box is really cool. Definitely something I, I think I'd like and I would use. Uh, we got Temporal Forces, two of them, Paradox Rift, one Obsidian Flame, Scarlet Violet, and then a Lost Origins. So we're going to go newest to oldest, start with the Temporal Forces. I am, I think, four cards away. I think there's an SIR and one Illustration Rare. One of the other two cards, two gold cards that I'm missing. So the likelihood of me getting it out of these packs is not likely, but hey, you never know. Here's the code card for y'all. Temporal Forces. Enjoy. Please let me know in the comments below if you do redeem. Uh, we will have water energy. Nope. Still missing. All right. Looks like we got a hollow foam underneath. We got a Turtwig. We got a Puchiana. We got a Wiglet. We got a Meltan. Got a Roserade. Expedrill. Keldeo. Relor, reverse, Mudsdale, reverse, and oh, hello! <laughs> That's hysterical. That's a full art iron bundle. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a regular hollow foil. Um, let's see. On that note, do I have the iron bundle? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, just because I'm missing gold cards. Oh, that'll be nice. Um, it's, it's actually centered pretty nicely too. Card looks really nice. Uh, it's 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 hard because the iron leaves. It's been pretty meta for decks, and the Iron Crown has been just ridiculously expensive and really good, so um, that's that for you. Um, I was unable to hit my Iron Crown, so I just had I purchased it myself. Uh, I'll put the full art right here. I got sleeves here, so I will sleeve that momentarily. I know the card can get damaged, but here, let's go ahead and sleeve it for all those who want to make sure the card is protected. It's right there for you. Okay. Going to pack two temporal forces. There is uh, six packs total. It's 
stay of odds, I'll probably get two hits, but if I can get more, that'd be awesome. If I don't, hey, it's, it's all fun, right? Got a code card right there from Temporal Forces. Mm, we're going to go Graskin. Yeah. Yeah. We got Steel Energy. We got a Cottony. We definitely have a Halfo in this one. We got a Carvana. Ekans. Feels really thick. We got a Turtwig. Got a Sableye. We got an Iron Valiant. Rescue Board. We got a Reverse. Bronzong. Reverse Crocodile. And then a Roaring Moon Halfoil. So I'll be off to the sides. We're going to go into our Paradox Rift. Uh, Iron Hands has been really popular. I've been using Iron Hands and Iron Crown in my deck recently, and I've been doing par fairly well. Uh, shout out to the friend out there who helped me uh, construct that deck. Got Lightning Energy, and I forgot to guess the energy. My sincerest apologies. We will go with Gibble, um, Panvor, Blitzel, Wall Sweet, Tinkaton, Durant. We got a turn of vessel, earthen vessel, excuse me. We got an iron jugglers reverse. Oh, here we go. We got a ferrothorn illustration rare, and then a thievel hollow foil. It's really nice. I actually didn't pull this one. I actually was uh, on vacation uh, in a semi northern part of Michigan, and there's a card shop, and I picked up this one for pretty cheap. So uh, it's nice. It'll go into my trade binder to help me finish my sets of Paldean Fates and uh, Temporal Forces currently. There's two out of our... Yeah, two out of our six packs, so that's probably going to be it for hits, if unless I get lucky. Um, Coke card. We're going to go Fire Energy. Got Grass. Finally, I guess it's Grass. So yeah, right. As always happens, eh? Oh, shoot. Did I move the cards? There's an anti ump here. Shuckle, Bishart. Um, Claydol Reverse and a Houndstone Reverse. Well, that was anticlimactic. My sincerest apologies. So that was a Obsidian Flames. We got a Scarlet and Violet. Uh, code Heart and Energy. I am just all over the place. I apologize. I was watching uh, a hockey game and the Wings won in overtime. And that just made things absolutely insane. Um, so we don't guess the energy, so we're just going to go ahead with the cards. Dedene, that is upside down. Corellia, that switch, super useful. Fue Coco, Espothra, Arvin, also super useful. Uh, Cacturn, Potion Reverse, can be useful. Nimon Reverse, and then uh, Nile Ape. So we got a nice two uh, reverse trainer cards. Those are very popular amongst the people who do play. Uh, some good trade bait, if you will. All right, we're going into our last pack in our wonderful Iono box. We're going to go ahead and guess our Lost Origins. Uh, it's been a while since I've opened anything Sword and Shield. Uh, so code card is white, so that usually means bad. But what do, what do I know? Two, three, and four, I think. Four to the front. Starting with Fire Energy. We're going to get a Surviper. A Galarian Stunfisk, a Box of Disaster, that's depressing. Got a Litwick, an Oddish, a Love Disc, a Phalanx, a Poliwag, a Poliwag Reverse, and oh, it's going to be at least a regular or a hollow foil or nothing. It is a Rhyperior, so nothing unfortunately. A uh, regular rare. Which is weird saying since Scarlet and Violet now has all hall foils or minimal hall foils. We'll go into a recap of the box. So we got our two hits. We got our full art Iron Boulder and our um, illustration rare Ferrothorn. Looking awesome. Exoskeleton has its ability. We have our oh so awesome Iono full art. I'll go ahead and crack that open so we can take a look at the other Ionos just because. Probably not going to get this one rated, but we'll go ahead and pop this open. Here's a little closer look. And here's the uh, Ionos that are holographic, or the cosmic background. And that has the cool little stamp right there to show that it's what this is. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, all in all, a great product. Um, I think they're just going to sell it really fast just because so many people like Iono. Uh, Iono is a super useful card, and then on top of that, you have, th what, Two SIR Iodos, I think at least two full arts, if not three at this point. 
Um, so it's a super popular card. There's going to be people who are going to be collecting. This is going to be like a Marnie, in my opinion, uh, of, of the yester uh, years in terms of a milk carton or a character, at least in terms of popularity. So if you're one who speculates to you know buy and hope things go up in price, that might be a great purchase for you. But it's a great product. I, I like this better than the Paldean Adventure Box, personally. Um, it's around uh, the same price, uh, same amount of packs, but you get a deck box, which is a little uh, more secure than the last one, which was cardboard, which was the Paladin Adventure Box. Excuse me, that's the last one. Sleeves are the same type of sleeves. You get your dice, you get your coin, and all that jazz, but um, I, I think the deck box and the full art kind of win. You got promos, and the other side in Pikachu is going to be more popular, so I mean, you're, you're basically shuffling for the promo, I guess. Um, as always, just... For me, personally, I try to get things to, on discount because things are expensive and life is expensive. But uh, either way, it's a great product. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this break. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for coming, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.